A variety of electromagnetic devices have been developed and used. This investigation has resulted from the plausible hypothesis that the atmosphere has now been modified into what is called a plasma state, or an electrified gas. Testing has produced a variety of indications that this hypothesis is indeed correct and that the atmosphere is regularly being used for electromagnetic applications. Basically, make the atmosphere a better circuit for the HARP technologies to use. That's why they use barium uh, particles and aluminum oxide particles, amongst others, is, to, is, is all to make the atmosphere a superconductor. Until this spraying above us is stopped completely, uh, it, it doesn't bode well for us at all because the chemicals in the spray is really targeting uh, humans in a big way. Whether warfare at the United Nations is worth looking up to see what they've written into that. All of the effects, including the earthquakes, the tsunamis, uh, droughts or floods, or even hurricane creation or tornadoes, is all written into that treaty, written in the 1970s, which meant it had already been tried and tested for them to write all of that in. But definitely the mind control aspect is rather scary. Brzezinski, in Between Two Ages, put a chapter called the Technotronic Era, where psychotronic, that's mind and electronics combined basically, will affect uh, everybody within the continent for control purposes. And he said, and then, and then coupled that with the aerial spraying containing aluminum oxides, etc., you, you make a highly charged atmosphere. The public breathe it in, it's in their food, it's in their water, they become almost walking antennas.